Today in Crypto In an interview with CNBC, Curry said that Coin's remarkable run has attracted greater institutional interest, but noted that smart money investors are still a tiny fraction of the overall market. They will need to come in droves for Bitcoin to become a stable asset and avoid a flash crash like we saw earlier this week, he said. I think the market is beginning to become more mature, Curry said of Bitcoin adding that volatility and those risks that are associated with it are common for nascent assets. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The price of Bitcoin, BTC, rose 20% on January 12, from $30,500 to around $36,600, across major exchanges. But while the rebound after the correction has been strong, there are two warning signs. First, the funding rate in the futures market remains high. The funding rate is a mechanism that incentivizes the minority of the market. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Crypto savvy Gary Gensler is expected to be named the new chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. According to a report by Reuters, the new chairman will replace Elad Roy Eisman in the coming days. Gensler was the former chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission during the Obama era. He was appointed to join Joe Biden's transition team back in November shortly after the U.S. presidential election. It is still unclear how the new chair will steer the affairs of the U.S. watchdog. So far, Gensler has not openly come out to either endorse or criticize cryptocurrencies. He has however recognized blockchain technology as one that uncovers some of the underlying problems in the U.S. payments industry. As per his portfolio, Gensler is an MIT Sloan Business School professor. He was also the former chief financial officer spearheading Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. If nominated and appointed, Gensler could introduce stringent crypto policies that might stifle growth. Alternatively, the upcoming chair could play a key role in pushing for the adoption of digital assets. One primary area that is of concern is Bitcoin ETF. Gensler might eventually become the chair that approves Bitcoin ETFs, given renewed efforts by Vanek to launch one in the U.S. Another area of concern is whether or not Gensler will follow through with the lawsuit against Ripple. Sex Lies and videotape, Binance accuses rivals of fighting dirty. A bogus video on Chinese social media has intensified a long-standing feud involving Binance, Huobi and Dokex. Gensler taught a course on blockchain technology's potential use, by entrepreneurs and incumbents, to change the world of money and finance. President-elect Biden has finally decided on his nominee to head the Securities and Exchange Commission. At least according to Reuters anonymous sourcing in a Tuesday report, Gary Gensler will be Biden's nominee as SEC chair. During the Obama administration, Gensler was the chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, in which capacity he was in charge of enforcing the many new provisions of the Dodd-Frank Act that followed the 2008 financial crisis. Gensler has spent most of the Trump years at MIT, teaching courses on digital assets and blockchain. If nominated, there is little doubt that a now Democrat-controlled Senate would be willing to confirm him. Gensler would likely be the most crypto-informed person to lead the SEC. Former SEC Chair Jake Layton, who stepped down in December, was known for pursuing initial coin offerings throughout his term. It was early in his tenure that the commission released its Dow report, its first declaration that digital assets could be securities and would, therefore, be subject to the SEC's jurisdiction. Gensler has been a leader in financial policy on Biden's transition team since shortly after Biden's electoral win at the beginning of November. There was a great deal of speculation at the time as to Gensler's prospective role in the coming administration, with many predicting the SEC. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.